Good morning, Brooks. It's good to be here with you today. Um, today is all about exchange, so let's get started. In early September, a couple of days after Dorina, Elise, Adam, and Norby arrived from Hungary to Brooks to begin their exchange, Elise handed me a note sent from Reiko Horvat. This is the note. Um, can you show the first slide, please? For those of you who were here last year, Reka was, nope, not that one. Nope. Try again. So, do you not, do you have our slide deck? Uh-oh. What's the problem? She doesn't have our slide deck. Can you share it? I can share it. Okay. So I will continue. Mr. Nagel's going to share the slide deck with Mr. English. There's slides and video um, for us. So in the meantime, Kubreka was with us last year. And she wrote a note, which she sent along with Elise to us. Um, Reka was here. She ran cross country and lived in Gardner. And she wrote, Dear Mrs. Saunders and Mr. Nagel, I hope you had a fun and restful summer. I'd like to wish you an amazing school year, but Brooks couldn't be any more amazing. I will be forever grateful for the kindness, sincere devotion, and all that Brooks did for us in order for us to have the best exchange experience ever. The memories we made and the connection we built at Brooks will always be in our hearts. All my love to all of Brooks, Reka. Woo, so getting that a couple of days into school, it's I think it's a dying art writing letters, so it was really sweet to receive this. And I must admit that this caught an emotional chord for me. Reka, Hella, and Igor hold a dear place in my heart from last year. They were the first exchange students to join our community since the program was suspended by COVID in early 2020. Their arrival to campus signaled a new beginning of the program, a program that has been sending and receiving students since 1986. Exchange is a uniquely Brooks opportunity, and I'm glad it returned for all of us, for all of you, to take advantage of and to experience. The central message of Reka's note reminds me of the importance of community impact on exchange. All of us here today, all of us, influence the experience exchange students have while they are with us. Exchange students are part of our advisories, dorms, afternoon programs, seated lunches, classes, and weekend activities. Exchange students immerse here to learn about being a student in American boarding school, a student here at Brooks. They represent their schools and share their stories from home, all the while they become a part of us, a part of our community, a part of the Brooks legacy. We learn so much about their culture and their norms as they do ours, truly an exchange of people, stories, and shared experiences. After they depart Brooks, the memories, photos and videos remain as evidence of their experience, but the feeling on the inside, in their hearts and minds, how they're moved by community, that's what matters the most. This is evidenced by Reka's letter to us. The same holds true for our students that go on exchange. Exchange is more than a vacation. It's an opportunity for all of you to authentically immerse and connect with a new community and culture. It's a deep dive experience that gives you space and time to learn the routines, traditions, values of the people of the region. Some students are in homestays, some are in dorms. Every location has its special flavor and differences that make it uniquely its own. Finding your community abroad in homes, classes, cities, and friends on exchange is powerful. It's a way to connect to people and culture in which you immerse. As an exchange student, you travel independently. You're responsible for yourself on a whole other level you learn quite a bit about yourself along the way, especially about your own resilience, courage, and curiosity. The, important, the opportunity for personal growth, adventure, and discovery is huge. As you hear more about exchange today, think about if this is for you. Are you ready for the independence, adventure, and immersion? Can you visualize yourself trying something new somewhere else outside of your comfort zone? I challenge you to consider this amazing opportunity. Now, I'll pass this along to Mr. Nagel. So, this is, thank you, Mike. Um, this is Reka on what will be your right. Um, she's 
Cal is on the left, Igor in the middle, and then Reka is on the right. Um, and this was the group from last year at this time. Um, and this year we have Dorina and Elise and Adam um, and Norby with us. So new group, new experiences, new fun. Um, but Reka is the one that wrote the note. Um, so I'm going to now pass this along to Mr. Nagel to be continued. Hello, Brooks. Let me make sure I get this mic the right way. There we go. So last year, I too was new to Brooks Exchange Program. Getting to know it from within Brooks and from America through the eyes of our students has been immensely inspiring to me, and I'm proud to know that Brooks grants each of you access to this opportunity. Cultural exchange is about more than just travel. It's a way to get to know your inner self better. Who would you be in another world or another life? How are you known in a new place? How do you want to be remembered? As an exchange student, you move from being an observer to becoming a participant. Not every moment of an exchange is likely to be perfect, but neither is life. What matters is what you take from it. The lessons you learn about yourself and your new community, as well as how you feel and respond to the moments that matter. This is where character comes from. I love seeing the confidence and satisfaction that students come back to Brooks with after living so independently. After each of their stays, they all return with a global network of friends and extended family. Brooksians abroad forge deep connections and new friends with people, places, and culture. Your time spent traveling abroad is not enough to process the impact that exchange will have on your life and your personhood. The journey you create for yourself will be rich enough to nourish your intellect, your character, and your perspective through years of reflection to come. I have for you all here a video with reflections and a little advice from Laura Kahu, Sarah Benjavitbalai, and Abby Duckworth. They were all six formers last year, and each participated in one of the three programs that we are running this year. Can we get to the next slide? Which, as a reminder, are Morocco, Hungary, and Botswana. This also happens to be the order that they appear in. Can we get to the slide with the, looks like a collage of pictures, it's a video. Now, can we show the slide of Laura, Sarah, and it's the next slide on over, yep. There we go. Oh, the words didn't line up. All right. Well, Laura's on the left, Sarah's in the middle, and Abby is on the right, and they attended exchange last year in their respective countries. And they're going, you're, that's who, this is who you will hear in the video that's coming up next. Yep, and in that order. Afterwards, Philip Mwangi and Kat Thompson will share some thoughts about their experiences as well. We hope that from these stories, you discover something inspiring within yourself that drives you to take the leap, to get out of your comfort zone, to try something uniquely different, uniquely Brooks, and apply to exchange. Enjoy. And now we can play that. I'm sitting on the plane with my headphones on, just thinking about how I'm going to be in Morocco in T minus an hour. I also, you have an email with a link to it and a download. The exchange program is experiencing technical difficulties this morning. We appreciate the efforts in the back um, and your patience while we wait. Thank you so much. I'm sitting on the plane with my headphones on, just thinking about how I'm going to be in Morocco. There it is. I feel just so jittery. First of all, from the extremely long plane ride, but then also because it's a new country, an entirely new world. And that's amazing and it's scary, but it's exciting just to know that there are people who are excited to see you arrive. People who are excited to help you experience their culture and just see what happens outside of our little box in the U.S. and Massachusetts, at Brooks specifically. Just know that there are people who, who want to show you a bit of their life. And that's amazing to know. And I feel, I feel very grateful all the time that I was able to, to be in a little snippet of, of their lives. Friends were at some other countries and they got to see some amazing things like going on a safari or going like for me going to Austria traveling to another country. 
if you have any thoughts on applying, do it. It's a, a chance to just experience something new. So if that's something that you like to do, which is something that I love to do, trying something new. So um, if you want to try something new, I think it's a great experience to just step out and see a different point of view, a different perspective, experience a different culture while also seeing new things because you don't know how those connections can help maybe later on. I wish I could go back, honestly. I wish, I wish. There's something for everybody in exchange. Even if you don't think that any of the places that are being offered have something for you, I can guarantee you they do. Like when I went there, I thought that I wasn't going to be able to engage in a lot of things I was able to engage in. When I got to the dorm and I met Nalady, my roommate, she was really excited to meet me and that made me feel welcomed into the community. And immediately we just like went to the canteen and like everyone was like asking us a bunch of questions. Res Life was actually really great because um, it's just one big dormitory where everybody who lives on campus stays there. People were always open to like hang out and they would be in the common room and they would like ask you how your day was and like sit down and just have a conversation. And it was like, I just felt it was really easy to find people to get to make friends with. Like I remember there was one night that massive soccer game and it was just like, it wasn't like an organized soccer game. It was like everyone just came together and could play if they wanted to. There were probably like 20 to 25 people on each team. It wasn't like it was planned or structured, like people could just play if they wanted to. I thought I wasn't gonna be able to join volleyball because they would have already had a team established and they welcomed me right in with like literally no hesitation. So there is something for everybody. If you're scared, I was in your shoes too. And once you get there, you will realize that there's literally nothing to be scared of. When I was leaving, it was so surreal to, to live with the fact that many of these people that I've seen, that I've eaten with, that I've talked with, that I've hugged every day, I will see the, many of them again. And that part really hurts the soul. But then at the same time, the only thing you can really do is smile because these people have blessed you with an experience that you will never forget, an experience that will be treasured always, and an experience that essentially has allowed me to become better than who I currently was at that time. In the end, as long as you look back on your experience fondly, and as long as you're feeling that way, that's how you know you've had an amazing time. That's how you know that you've been provided with an amazing experience.